Lazarus is about a group of scientists who are working on a project designed to uh, bring people back to life. They don't ever dream that they'll actually achieve that goal within their lifetimes. They're developing a serum that will hopefully eventually be able to bring people back to life, people who have flatlined during surgery, people in comas. The idea is that it's sort of a jolt to the system that brings people back into this realm. Um, when we meet our characters, they're working in a lab uh, at a university, working on animals, working with test tubes, never uh, expecting to have to work on a human. And then everything goes very, very wrong. They end up having to bring back one of their own and chaos ensues. I play Zoe McConnell, who's a doctor who's one of the head researchers on the team. She developed the serum that they use to bring the dogs and people back to life. And she is the fiance of uh, Frank, who is our lead researcher and kind of the boss man. So the two of them are uh, working very, very hard for years on this project. And we've hired a team to work with us. And um, it is uh, really fun playing a scientist and a doctor and someone who has these incredible goals and ideals. Zoe suffers from nightmares. She went through a traumatic experience when she was a child and we as the audience members see very early on in the film that she has this recurring nightmare uh, that involves people being trapped in a burning building and, and burned figures trying to get at her and it's really terrifying and she struggles with it private, privately. Um, and when she is brought back to life using the Lazarus serum, she is stuck kind of in this um, in-between kind of world in between her subconscious and conscious brain. And she kind of can't figure out what is real, what is not real, and she's driven crazy by these visions from her dream. And she actually starts to manifest that physically, and she uh, at least feels, and the audience feels, that she is becoming this burned figure from her, from her memory, from her dreams. I'm such a neuro nerd, I'm really into all things neurological and I'm fascinated by how little we know about the brain. And one of the things we're exploring with this plot is the idea that when animals or humans are brought back with the Lazarus serum, their uh, neural pathways are firing at an alarming rate and they're um, accessing more of their brain than we've ever seen in a living being. So they say, we're using 10% of our brain at a time, at once. What if we were using 90% at once? What would we be capable of? Um, and it taps into all of our sort of suspicions about clairvoyance or about you know sensitivity uh, using other senses that we, we never have actually tapped into because we don't use that part of our brain. So the idea is that once the Lazarus serum is in the body, your brain evolves rapidly and you have much more power than, than you're expected to have, which is why you can be so dangerous. I was sort of born to play Zoe because I've already read so many nerdy <laughs> neurology books that I just had a, a wealth of research to kind of hand over to anybody in the movie who wanted it. Um, I love Oliver Sacks and had read all of his books and that was really informative in terms of kind of thinking about the brain or thinking about neurological disorders and how um, that can affect one's reality. And also, you know, the amazing research being done now um, is, is available to anyone to look into, but it's, it's phenomenal what we're figuring out about the brain and what we're capable of, and specifically with bringing people back to life. There's a group of scientists who are working specifically on that. Can someone be completely flatlined and come back without brain damage? Um, what is necessary for that? And it's, it's a real thing. I like that this film and its concept is based in reality.